Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys my top 50 must have iPhone apps of 2019. Now before I get started, I just want to ask you guys if you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. Now the way I will do this video is that first of all, I have some utility apps and I will go through different categories of apps and show you a few apps of each category. Now I will try to make this as short as I can because there are 50 apps and I don't want to take a lot of time. So let's get started with the first one. Image search is an app that allows you to search for an image on Google or Bing. All you gotta do is just upload an image from your camera roll or from the camera app. Once you have uploaded your image, it will search Google or Bing for that image. The next app is called Pimpig. This app allows you to merge a few screenshots into one. So here you can see I have three screenshots. All you gotta do is just open the camera roll, select your screenshots and it will merge them into one. Up is an app that allows you to easily share your photos, videos, contacts or documents. All you gotta do is just select any of them that you want to share and just tap the share button right there. What it does is that it creates a link and you can just go ahead, basically copy that link, send it to someone and they can download that document from that link. Firefox Focus is a new web browser. It's totally focused on privacy, so it's very easy to use. You can see right here, the interface is pretty simple. So let's just go ahead and open something right there. So once you're done, all you gotta do is just tap right there and it will delete everything on the browser's history. XE is a very useful app that you can use to convert different currencies. So you can see right here, it will show you the latest like currency rates right there. It updates automatically and you can convert different currencies from different countries. Speak for me is an app that allows you to enter any text that you want here and it will read it for you. So all you gotta do is just type any text you want or just basically paste any text you want and just tap the play button and then it will go ahead test, and test. read that text for you. QR code is an app that allows you to scan QR codes. Of course, you can also do that with the stock camera app of iOS. But with this app installed, you can also scan QR codes from pictures. You can do barcodes as well. And of course, you will have your history here as well. So every QR code that you scan will be saved right here under the history. And you can also create your own QR codes. Converse is an app that allows you to speak anything you want on a language and it will instantly translate it to another language. So you can see right here. Hello. Hola. As you can see right there, you just speak, you hold the screen, speak, and it will translate it with a voice, of course, to another language. Meme Machine is a fun app that allows you to create your own memes. So you can see right here, you have a bunch of memes to choose from, and then you can customize them any way you like. You can add your own text, a picture of you, your emojis, anything you want, and make these memes your own. Universal Remote Control is an app that allows you to basically control any TV from your iPhone. So all you gotta do is just make sure you connect your TV. You will have to have your iPhone and TV on the same Wi-Fi network, and then you will have all the commands right here. And from here, you can control your TV, smart TV, of course, using your iPhone. CPU X is an app that will give you detailed information regarding your device. So everything that you need to know regarding your device will be right here from the device, general information to the processor, memory, display, camera, network, battery, all that. And of course, if you go to memory right here, it gives you the option to clear the RAM memory of your iPhone. Weather is an awesome weather app. As you can see right here, it will show you the weather prediction for your current location or any location that you choose. And right here at the bottom, you will have the full weather forecast by hour. So for each hour of the day, you will have the forecast right here. If you go right there to the search, to the search button, you can go ahead, search for any city and see the weather conditions right there. Weather 30 is another weather app. Now this one is a bit different from the others because it will show you the weather forecast for the next 30 days. Yes, 30 days right here. So you can see the full calendar right there and it will show you for each day the weather forecast for the next 30 days. Video Cropper is an app that allows you to crop your videos. Now, usually we used to crop photos, but with this app, you can also crop your video. So it's very easy to use. As you can see right here, just crop freely here any way that you like. You also have presets right there. Then tap the share button to save it to the camera roll. 
CPU monitor is another app that will monitor your device. So everything from the general information right there to the RAM memory, it will show you right here all the information that you need to know for your RAM, for your battery, the storage, and also the networks of your iPhone. Text scanner is a very useful app that allows to scan any text like from a picture or from your camera and then it will turn it into text that you can of course copy or edit. So here you can see this scan that I did from a picture that I have on the camera roll of the update for iOS 13 beta 4 and you can see it has turned that into text. Now of course I can go ahead copy this and use it, edit it and use it any way I like. 365 days is a fun app that will show you the progress of the year. You can see the year right there, you, you see the dates right here in the middle and then the percentage of the year right there and each of the dates are indicated with a dot. The app also has an awesome widget which you can use and it will basically show you this part right here on the widgets panel. Next is Tuparama. This app allows you to add text to your photos. Like you want to share on social media like a quote or something. This one is really awesome. You just load your picture and you will have a bunch of different styles here and you just double tap here and it allows you to enter any text that you want and apply it to your pictures. Comet is a Reddit client app. This one is pretty awesome. It's one of my favorites. I use this a lot. So right here we'll have the home. You can see the interface is very nice and clean. Of course, you will have your favorites. You will have a search bar right here to explore Reddit. And if you go right here, this is my favorite feature, the night mode of this app. Multitasking is an app that allows us to browse on two different windows at the same time. So basically this is a browser but allows us for example to open YouTube right there at the top and you can open like Facebook or Instagram right here at the bottom. So you can have two different websites at the same time in one screen. Video to GIF is a very useful app that allows you to convert any of your videos into a GIF file. So you just load one of your videos, you can add text right here, you can set the speed and of course you can also trim the video right here. Once you're done, just click save GIF and it will be saved under the camera roll of your device. Photos to PDF allows you to convert any of your pictures into a PDF file. So you have like, for example, let's say the screenshots of the text or something, you can go ahead and just basically convert them into a PDF file. Once you have done that, you can also go ahead and rename it, of course, and share it. You can save it under the books. If you want to have your like screenshots saved under PDF, you can go ahead and transfer them to books from here. VoiceOver is an app that allows us to add voiceovers to your videos. So you add a video right here from the camera roll, then just tap right here to record the audio. And from here, you will be able to go ahead and record any of, of your audio that you want and add it to your videos. Safe Record allows you to create voice memos as well as protect them with a passcode. That's really important. So you can see right here, once you have created your voice memos, you want to log them, just tap right here. The first time you tap there, it will ask you to enter a passcode and then whenever you want to open the app and access the voice memos, you will need to enter your passcode. Moving on to the wallpapers apps, I have a few wallpaper apps right here. The first one is Paper CO. This one is really awesome. It has a ton of wallpapers. Right here on the menu, you will find the new wallpapers, the best, and of course your favorites, and also different categories right here. If you take a look at the home screen right here, you can see there are a ton of beautiful wallpapers. Of course, you can tap right there to preview it, how it will look on the home screen, and then just tap the arrow to download it to your camera roll. The next is one is called Vellum. This is basically my favorite one. It adds like daily wallpapers right there. And of course, you will have different categories here where you can find beautiful wallpapers and add them to your device. Right here, you have also the option to add blur. And of course, see how it looks on the home screen of your device. And of course, save it easily from here. Live Wallpapers 4K is an app that will bring you 4K live wallpapers. As you can see them right here, they look really, really beautiful. You will find a ton of wallpapers right here. Now, a lot of them are free, but you will also find paid wallpapers like this one right here. So you can see it costs 10 coins and you can get coins from here. Just go here and buy your coins and then you can go ahead and use them to get these beautiful wallpapers on your device. Unsplash is also an app that I have used a lot to get a lot of my wallpapers. But the app is pretty simple right here at the top of search bar. Then you have different like categories there to explore and then you will find different wallpapers right here. Now, once you find one that you like, you can basically just tap right there and from here you can go ahead and tap on the arrow and it will download it on the camera roll. And the last wallpaper app for the video is called Wally. This one is pretty cool as well. So you will see some recents right here. You will have popular 
featured and also you will find collections right there and a search bar right there now once you like wallpaper go ahead and just go ahead and tap download right there so once you have tap download you will need to here to choose the format for your device click download and you're good to go Moving on to the VPN apps, we have Clean VPN. This is one of my favorites as it has a bunch of features, right? Here you can tap to connect. Of course, you will see the servers right here. Only the US is free, the others are paid. And at the top, it also has other features like this speed test for their internet right here. You can go ahead and run the speed test for your internet from this app. The next app is 1.1.1.1. Even though this is not a VPN app, this will speed up the internet on your device. So just connect it right here and it will make the internet connection on your device much faster. VPN Unlimited Proxy is my favorite VPN app for the iPhone. It's free, totally free. You can go to the locations right here and you can see you have a ton of locations to which you can connect all for free of course once you choose your connection your location basically you tap right there to go ahead and connect to that server BetterNet is another vpn app this one is pretty simple you can see right here you have a button to connect or disconnect and then you will find the locations right here now it will automatically choose an optimal location and the other ones are paid vpn valid is another one this one is simple as well just tap right there to connect and then it will show you right here where you have connected you can see once you're connected to a vpn it will show you right here all the info to which state you're connected and also the upload and the download will be shown right here Moving on to camera apps, the first one for the camera apps is Raw Plus and it allows you to basically control everything manually. From the ISO to the shutter speed to the focus, everything can be controlled manually from this app. And you will have the shutter button right there and you can also shoot in Raw. The next app is called Focus. This one will be very useful, especially for the people that don't have a device with portrait mode. So you can see right there, it allows you to basically control the aperture, which means that you can set the focus and you can control the blur behind the object easily from here. It of course has a bunch of other features. Moment is another app that allows you to control everything manually from the ISO to the shutter speed to the focus to the white balance. Everything can be controlled manually from here. The next app for the video is called Foodie. Now this one is made specially for people who want to take pictures of their food. You can see this is yellow right here. So basically normally this will be white. Once you have your device straighten up like you want to take a picture of your food from the top. Once it's straight like this, this will become yellow. It indicates that it's straight and you can go ahead and take a picture. Rookie Cam is an app for the beginner photographers. You can see right here, it has a slider to zoom in and out. Right here, you can add effects. You will see like different effects here that you can go ahead and add to your pictures and then go ahead and shoot from here. You can go ahead and shoot video or photo, of course. Hooji is an app that will make these like retro photos. It's pretty awesome. So you basically have to look right there on the viewfinder and take a picture. Then you go to the lab and right here we'll find the pictures that you have taken. Moving on to photo editing apps, we have the first one called styling. So you will have a bunch of effects right here that you can add to your pictures. You can see that gradient very cool and also we'll have a ton of new features right here so we will have the adjust you can adjust everything right here and of course we have the blur you can go ahead and add frames to your pictures or you can crop them from here the next photo editing app is called gradient right here you can create different colleges and you can resize it you can add filters from here so you will find different categories of filters and go ahead and apply them to your pictures as easy as that tap the check mark to apply and of course you can also adjust the exposure the contrast all that the next one is called Mo Show. This one allows you to create cool slides. So you just basically load your pictures, which you want to use. And you will see right here, different formats, different styles in which you can create your own slides. You can see right there, that's really awesome. All this will be done automatically. All you gotta do is click save. Next one is Snapseed. This one is from Google. It has a bunch of features. Right here we'll have looks. These are different filters that you can apply to your pictures. Click there once you're done. And then you will have tools right here. So you can see here a ton of tools which allow you to customize your pictures the way you like. 
Next is Prisma. This one is pretty unique. It allows you to turn your pictures like in these kind of like cartoons. I have that, that cartoon look. You can see right there. Once I apply that effect, you can see how cool that looks. And it has a bunch of free like effects. And of course, some of them are paid as well. Moving on to keyboards, we have the first one called Fonts. This app will add a bunch of fonts to the keyboard of your device. So you can see right here, you will have the fonts at the top. And as you tap on them, they will change right here on the keyboard. And of course, once you type, it will be on that font. Good Fonts is another app that will add fonts to your device. So basically, you will need to type here anything that you want and then just tap on one of the fonts and it will be copied on the clipboard of your iPhone with that font. And of course, then you can use it anywhere you want. GIF Keyboard is another one that will bring GIFs directly to your keyboard. So you don't need to go to any website or anywhere to search for GIFs. You will have them right here on your keyboard. Just go ahead, go to the keyboard. And from here, you will find different GIFs as well as a search bar right there. So you can tap right there to search for any GIFs that you want and you will find them all in here. Grammarly is a keyboard that will correct everything that you type wrong. So you make any mistakes, any grammar mistakes while you're typing, this will correct them for you. So let's just try out this here so you can see it will basically show you the exact like the correction right there. You can just tap it and it will add it to your text. And the last keyboard app for the video is called Swift Key. So basically, if you have iOS 13, you won't need this because now this is a feature on iOS 13, but you can slide to type with this keyboard, of course, on iOS 12, because on iOS 13, this now is a default feature. So that is it for this video, guys. These are my top 50 must have iPhone apps of 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Also, don't forget to share it with your friends. I will be uploading more apps videos, so make sure you subscribe to not miss any of them. And I will see you guys on the next one.